Welcome to Oklahoma. Welcome to Countryside Adventures. It is approximately 628, April 20th, 2024, and we are participating in Total Archery Challenge, Beaver's Bend, Oklahoma. Our first knock time is 7 a.m. this morning, and we're going to be shooting the loophole course. So buckle up, we're not sure what to expect here. This may be a fun ride. So we've, uh, we're gonna do this in kind of a, a POV standpoint because everything that we're probably gonna be shooting, we're gonna try to use GoPros to be waterproof as possible because we're expecting rain today. And we're not sure how much, but we're just trying to be as prepared as possible for that fact. So we're gonna head down here to check in get checked in for tack, head up to our course, and try to lose as few of arrows as possible. So, we'll see you in a few. Well, nah. nah, you did good. Yeah. You did real good. I couldn't even hardly tell what it was from up there. I just could see the I was it, thinking it was a pig. Yeah, that's what I thought at first, too. Thanks, sir. Oh, look, arrow. Oh, yeah, somebody broke one. Yeah, y'all have to look it up, though. They shoot. I don't know where you're supposed to shoot from here. They're wanting you to shoot right between them trees. Got you. Here you go, Colin. I was aiming real low on that one for some reason. You tell me what it is. Whatever you tell me is what I'm going with. Oh, no. That would have been a definite part of shot right there. That's a good shot. I can see it through, through this little opening over here. Like me, I don't even think about, I shoot Deerman so much, mm -hmm. I know where the outlines are. Right. And that's what I'm kind of shooting at, is a 15 ring. What'd you come up with, Bubba? 40.5. 'all are confident in that shot hmm? I said y'all are awful confident in that shot that easy He go up. Well, we didn't do terrible on that one. I've done worse, I'll tell you that. That was a 
That's definitely kill. Awesome. Thank you, sir. It's definitely a kill. There you go. Perfect. Good shot. So you're gonna be a little bit above it, but not a whole lot. Well, now we both missed one. I don't feel so bad. Gotcha. Well, we're recovered two of them so far. Yeah, I should've got on my knees. Thank you, sir. So uphill, I'm gonna put about another half a yard on it or so, just see what happens. There you go. Man, this site would never get level. <laughs> I kept just taking it and just like turning it and turning it and turning it. Getting 50. Yeah. Dead 50? Yeah. I was bouncing between 49 and 50. Yeah. Shot. Oh, you were underneath it. Yeah, shot low. I got you. Thanks, sir. Oh, you got a tree root with it, didn't you? I was gonna say, just give her all she got. She breaks, she breaks. Pull the insert out, didn't it? Yep. <laughs> it's all right. Here you go, Bo. Uh, slide that one in and grab you another arrow. So this morning on the Lupo course, we actually got some pretty serious showers and it's not a big deal. We went ahead and just stuck it out and met a really cool guy on the course named Tony and we went ahead and finished out the course. We hiked our way back up to the lodge here at Beaver's Bend and this is our home until tomorrow afternoon. And so you can see that we've actually got the heater running in the background and we are basically rotating clothes out in front of the heater to dry out as much as we possibly can. And the fold out bed is now our bow drying area, if you will, right now. And so there is the other room over on the other side of the lodge. And Amy's hanging out over there, watching girl movies for the moment, Just watching a little bit of Lifetime. So Kyle and I are about to go ahead, get packed up, and we're gonna go out and see if we can hit another course. The 
rain has slowed down a little bit, but there is not a lot of people here shooting tack at the moment because I'm sure a lot of people got rained out. So we're actually going to take the opportunity and just go ahead and shoot as much as we possibly can of the courses. So off to round two on April 20th and we'll see how this goes. We'll catch you up pretty quick. Let's roll. Mm -hmm. Good shot. Shoot low? I think so. Get him.
the last few courses. Yeah, I got 68. There we go. Nice. Just a little yeah. climb that now. Shoot like gonna let it rip. Let me go last, y'all. Alright. Go ahead. Consistently <laughs> three inches, three by three inches long. I mean, if we're trying to make them bleed. That's what I told him earlier. I, I shoot to make them bleed. I'm not going for a ten ring. Uh, yeah. So a lot of my punching, low shoulder shots, trying to make them die. Right. I'm down seven. Did I hear foam? Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's where I thought I hit him. Put the pin where the arrow was, days of the day of the week right there. Yeah, he was saying he likes when I shoot first earlier because he got a knock to aim at. What'd you hit? Shall blow it. Not a standard flat ground as we see. Good far one. Yeah, it looked good though. No, go ahead. Let it rip, gone. Yeah. Yeah, a little more chest on it. I didn't realize that leg was a leg until I let go. Get square, take a breath, yeah. let her rip. Dudley. Ooh, I'm sweaty. Should totally turn straight and then hard work. I love the door for you. Stick it in the insert, you beat me. I should have aimed where I wanted to aim and I smoked it. Yeah, just the last probably two weeks. Yeah, that time. Well, I think went to my neighbor's house. Oh, you gotta have that full curl. Yeah, the curl, yeah. Oh. I think you can count them lines on his head too, on the horns. Ooh, I seen the sparks. Uh, I'm like four inches higher than what I was in. Ooh, thank you, money, dude. Where you at? 41. I died like 44, but that's my vote. That's where I wanted it. That was a good one. I could have put a cord on that target while I was shooting at. That's what I wanted. That was a good one. That's a close one. You can tell that it's fast. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. There you go. I don't like foam, baby. <sighs> Felt morning when it let go. Just like that. 47. Take you three or four good breaths. Shoot the back at that yellow just in case. Oh yeah. Good job. No pressure, but I can't be on one of this. You hear about this in the rest of the trip, long time. <laughs> Ooh, slapping the nose down there. Are you holding the black? That's what I'm saying. Right? Uh, oh, nope. All right. Yeah. yeah. Slap my All right. I don't feel bad about that.
think we got down to 50 today. Wind chill's pretty cold. The tow larger challenge truck and trailer is dragging us back to our lodge where we're staying. Today was an absolute blast. I think we're down. thousand steps I don't know how much elevation yet but this was an absolute blast of a day so Colin and I are gonna head back work up some steaks on our Lacoba mini grill we're gonna get ready to hit the zip kit tomorrow Well, we move positions on it. We still gotta go check in, right? Uh, you do. We don't. We well, aren't. You can't leave me. We're gonna leave you. Oh, uh, the shuttle pickup, the boat is right down there. I saw it yesterday. Is when we check in? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I seen it pull up to the little shoreline. Well, good morning, and it's almost. Well, we just hit eight o'clock, April twenty-first. So today is Sunday, and Con and I shot loophole and jack's links yesterday and jack's links was an amazing challenge to say the least and we have company today and today we're going to shoot sitka so our flight time our knock time is at 8 30. i say flight time because i'm just saying flight time because that's what it's called with collins archery for school uh for attack it's called your knock time so my understanding is for Sitka, we get on a boat, which is basically just a big party barge. We go out to an island and we shoot, and it's long shots. So we were hiking up to the registration, which is basically the marina. So once we get up there, or when we get closer, we can catch a shuttle, and we'll get everybody checked in, and we will head out, and we will see what Sitka is all about.
taking pictures of that? Oh, I'm a snake, you won't let me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So if anyone's curious about coming to tack, you can do this. Just know that you are gonna get taxed physically. I want you to sign up and do it. Just be prepared, focus and work hard. You bounced yours off the tree. Look at that. So that was target one on the Sitka course. We're gonna head down to target two. Get down here with our group. So anyway, like I was saying, if you've never done tack, don't worry about if you're out of shape or your gear, your equipment, don't worry about any of it. Just sign up. But definitely once you sign up, you're committed. So I would suggest, doesn't matter what you do, just start walking around your block. Whatever it is, just start. Practice with your bow. Get as good as you can get can do. And do your best to lose as few arrows as possible. It's gonna happen, you're gonna break arrows, you're gonna lose arrows, and you're gonna have some of the most fun and get through some of the most fun challenges you could possibly imagine. Oh, hiking boots. Get some good hiking boots or shoes. Even like some Brooks trail shoes, anything like that. So make sure you're paying attention and get some good shoes. Yay. On to target number two. I was gonna say, if you're gonna shoot from here, you're gonna arc right over that limb. You can just get up there by the cone. And, yeah.
Heart rate, 70. Good shot, dude. That's awesome. Oh, oh, he'll run through here on you. You gotta, you gotta be ready for him. Look, I shot at his feet. Did No, I don't think so. You see what? See if you can kind of it is breaking it. Okay, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about that. That was on me, Bubba. Uh, they're pretty fast, aren't they? <laughs> Everybody's gonna be. Well, so much for keep hammering on that one. Ain't no keep hammering there. Man, I can't get all bubble level. Ribbon right there. Clear.
52. Yep. <laughs> what is that? A ball cap? No, not, not here. We just cleared target number six, which was a wolf on the Sitka course. We're gonna head up to target number seven, see what it is, but seriously, look at the views here. If nothing else, come do this with an archery partner just to hack the trails. The viewing experience is truly unbelievable. And we've definitely got it on the list to do some other locations other than Oklahoma. Heart rate, 104.
There you go. Thirty three. Yep. 
Y'all all right back here? All right. Oh, I knocked him over. You <sighs> you killed him. That's the way. Downhill, I'm gonna set it dead on 66 to see what happens. I did that on Target 10, but I didn't. It's a good thing to know that uh, they're a little bit off. You said 66, right? Yep. Six point nine, that's what I got. I think my shoulder right here. Not terrible, but when it gets down there, it is. Weird. Nice shot. Maybe, so. maybe hit along, maybe clip along. The bad shot. I think we're about 12 targets in. And I don't know if you can see them over there. They're about 155, 160 yards. There's some archers across that channel over there. And we're going to keep working our way up the trail. Again, I think we're about target number 12, 13, something like that. But the best way to approach this, in my opinion, is one trail ribbon at a time, one target at a time. Control your breathing. Most importantly, be safe, have fun. So we're gonna head on up to the next target. I'm gonna catch up to the family here and make sure that we lose as few arrows as possible. I don't think Colin's lost any arrows on the Sitka course, actually. I think I've lost one. I think actually, I, uh, yeah, I got a, uh, I got a tree splitting trees to hit a target and uh, shot slightly to the left, got a tree. So we ended up trying to retrieve the arrow. And of course, like most arrows do, when you hit a tree, it broke off. So we just pulled the uh, insert and field tip out of it and uh, grabbed another arrow and kept moving. I think we got about 
think we've got about eight arrows left something like that so we're doing okay so between between three courses i think we're down about eight or ten arrows maybe eight arrows something like that so i really appreciate you clicking on this channel hanging out with us there's a water station up front we're gonna stop up there hydrate get some water but seriously if you don't mind please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel we really do appreciate all the support it's really awesome there's a link down in the description below to our merch shop man it'd be really cool if you'd click on that link check out our merch shop we're trying to add cool stuff for outdoor enthusiasts all the time all right longest shot the con i have ever done i don't know if you can see that target out there but this is 95 yards nice job dude nice job Good shot. down there is where we just came from so that was the mountain goat or sheep mountain sheep target i guess i'm gonna be honest after a while they start running together Look at shot. Yeah, you're low. I thought that was the earned thing. Oh, yeah. I thought that was the earned thing. It's not in the very front of it. Yeah. That's why I figured I'd shoot it because if it's going to break, it'll break at the tip.
Wow. All I did was save an arrow there. In the foot. Is that right, Gaddy? Mm -hmm. Heart rate 91. That's funny. Huh? Bottom knock or something? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look, Colin. One broke off in the tree right there. Some somebody got him a tree. How far? Sixty-six. Follow the trail, look down. Uh, follow the trail, look down. Mom's following the trail, looking down, I'll look a second. I don't see it. Go ahead, you look. Follow the trail, same. look down. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta... You gonna shoot under them? Mm-hmm. You might arc over them. Okay. Nice shot, dude. Okay. Nice shot. 66. Good shot, dude. That's awesome. Here you go. You good? Huh? You good? Yeah. Is that how you're going to shoot right over the loom? It did arc over it. I mean, it was right over it, too. Mine. Both of them. Mm. I watched them. It was dead in the way, though. Whoever planned that shot out planned it good. Yeah. Ninety six yards, right? Ninety seven yards.
bring it up one, right? Yeah, you can shave a yard off of it if you have to. <clears throat> We're pretty close, so I may not shave a whole yard. You gotta shave like a half, you know, like a half a yard if you have to. I'll put it at the top side of the number. There you go. Sounds good? Yep. Nice shot. Oh, I did all right on that one, didn't I? You did. did money. <sighs> Quiver them up, Bob. I'm gonna keep my eye on the low, so I'm ready to go. Where's it go? That is our total archery challenge for 2024. So we're gonna hit the road and it is time to grab something to eat because it is now 2.05 and we haven't had lunch. And I'm gonna swing around here and catch Colin. Colin is packing the truck up. You can see we got those Pelican bow cases loading up in the F-150. And so we're gonna hit the road. I really hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please do me a huge favor. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and as always, We'll see you outdoors.